Um, so next here we're looking at intakes and recommendations for protein. Kind of jumping around a little bit. But so the average American consumes about 15% of calories from protein. The RDA for protein is uh, 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. So for the average male, that's 63 grams of protein a day and 50 grams a day for females. But so now when we talk here, so what does the RDA take into account and what does the RDA not take into account? So we want to remember, this is to, RDAs are to prevent deficiencies, right? So this is the amount of protein you need to prevent a deficiency. So you have enough protein, all your essential amino acids. What it doesn't take into account is what's your optimal intake. Like RDAs have nothing to do with optimal, they have to do more with preventing deficiencies. So, you know, that's why you get the argument, well, you only need 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. Like, that's true, that's all you need, but that's not necessarily the optimal amount for your system. So then we look at some other guidelines, the um, AMDRs, or Acceptable Macronutrient Distribution Range. And what this is basically saying is, looking at all the bodies of research, what is an acceptable, what's the range of acceptable protein intakes? Looking at kind of all the studies and how much protein people have been eating. And so the AMDRs show that you can have between 10 and 35 percent of calories from protein, which is kind of right in our wheelhouse because we like to be at about 30 percent of calories from protein. Okay, so even though you know a lot of people get hung up on the RDA, but you know, we really want to focus on the AMDRs because it shows, you know, that you can, within a healthy range, you can have this, uh, you know, within a healthy diet, you can have that range of carbohydrate intake.